Hello there again everybody, David again, this time around for TIG Academy. If you want training, certifications and technical support on MicroTIG, you can count on TIG Academy. This time we will be discussing how to set up a wireless repeater with your MicroTIG. For this tutorial we will be using the RVWAP2 N V R two. If you have a poor coverage uh, of your wireless network, your ISP router or uh, modem has Wi-Fi built in and sucks, so this is the way to go. Let's connect to our uh, reset to defaults MicroTIC, and we see that there is no configuration, no settings, uh, no previous configuration on this device. We will be doing is setting up this uh, repeater option. First of all, we need to scan, use the scanner tool to look for the uh, network that we want to repeat. So uh, I have my, IS, my WISP here. This is the SSID, this name we need to copy or uh, memorize. Then we leave this uh, window right here. Don't forget to stop. Then we move on to the button that is next to it, which is the setup repeater for uh, dual radio uh, devices you can choose from. Uh, the interface you want to use right here. Down here you can set up the MAC address of the device that you want to repeat. Uh, remember that MicroTIC will connect to the strongest signal. Here we copy the SSID of the network that we want to repeat and the WPA Two key that uh, the network is using. Remember, this is case sensitive. Then we click start button. We wait for the process. We have the done, and we see some stuff changed and otherwise appeared on our device. These are the settings that the uh, MicroTIC router OS made. It created a, a security profile. It created uh, a uh, data interface, a virtual AP. And here we can see that we are actually registered to the access point, the signal level, uh, the signal strength, and some status information about the connection. This, this shows us that we are indeed connected. If you would like to set up or access this device using IP, you just create a DHCP client on the bridge interface that the setup repeater option created, and then you will see that it gets an IP from your DHCP server. This can be another MicroTIC or any other device. You can go and uh, see that here it shows with an IP. This MicroTIC, the WAP device that we set up previously. So, this is how we do it. Easy peasy. This is how you set up a wireless repeater with your MicroTIC device. It create, uh, you can see again the networks here. You won't see this uh, particular device, but the network you're repeating. Uh, also, as a note, remember that you can do this in any version of MicroTIC above 6.27. And uh, remember also that uh, it's better to be on the safe side, on, on the safe side with an updated version. Remember, we are TIC Academy. You can contact us at www.ticacademy.com or to our WhatsApp line. And remember, we are training, consulting, and support on MicroTIC. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.